guys, it's Rayanne here to welcome you to the channel. I'm going to talk today a little bit about some palettes and a highlighter that I've been trying out recently and have had actually some pretty, you know, good success with. I'm digging on it right now. So I did get this Rimmel palette that is glaring. There we go. From CVS as well as this highlighter. So this palette, obviously Rimmel, it is the Magnifies Color Edition. There's not an actual color name for the palette, but I was looking for something that had more variety rather than just warm nudes, which I do have a bunch of palettes that already have that. So not really looking for that, but I wanted something with some brighter colors I can incorporate into more looks. So now I'm playing around with eyeshadow a bit more. And so far, these have lasted really well. Very happy with the color payoff. They don't seem to kind of like fade away and disappear as the day goes on. Big change from that e.l.f. palette that I did try out that started off kind of bleak and ended just a bit bleaker. But having fun with this one, so far everything's great. There's a bunch of mattes. There's a bunch of shimmers. The shimmers are more so these two guys here. And the white is a bit shimmery too. I've used that as a highlighter. I've really liked it. This is $8.99. There's the cat. Hello, friend. So having fun playing with that. The only thing I wish it had was more of a, I know, so this looks like it's a paler color, but it's a shimmer, so I can't really use that as a base. Or if I were looking kind of like a vanilla kind of color to blend in, if I wanted to do a kind of nude look with these two. But like I said, I have other palettes that do have that, so it's really not that big of a deal to me. But if I wanted to just have one palette, you know, to go somewhere, it would be handy. But, you know, first world problems, it's fine. I can deal with it. And then on to the highlighter. This is the LA Girl Strobe Light Strobing Powder in uh, Watt. I don't know if it's supposed to be 110 Watt. It does say it on the back. This, I was a little, I don't know, I wasn't sold on it right away, let's say camera's not picking it up, but it seemed in the store to have a bit of glitter in it, which I'm not down with. I want something that looks like I'm glowing, not that I'm like going to a Kesha concert because I'm never going to go to a Kesha concert. I really want to go, but it's not in my cards right now, but this surprised me. It's really pretty. I feel like it looks completely different you know, in the packaging than it does on my skin, which is great. But also that could be a deterrent for a lot of people to not want to try it because they're like, Ooh, no glitter. But yeah, I, I really do dig this. It's pretty. It blends out really nicely. Finger swatches are BS. Sorry guys. But that is $7.99. Also found that at CVS, as I had said. And then at Ulta, because you can't go to Ulta and not buy anything. I got the Makeup Revolution palette. I did go for this one because there are a variety of colors. There's a bunch of greens, which I was looking for. They're not really the greens per se I was looking for. I was looking for a lot brighter, but these are beautiful and I'm really into them. It's just the Reloaded. I don't... It says Reloaded Division, but I think that's just part of the, the name here. But there's no actual name for the palette, but I, I've been playing around with it quite a bit. It does have more matte shades than shimmer shades, which is great. Um, mostly the shimmer shades are these two guys and then the lighter color that I've used as a highlighter on my brow. I had talked to a very nice girl that I work with about this palette and she said the mattes are great but the shimmers are like literally the worst thing or maybe they're foiled shadows. I'm not quite sure. I tried them dry. I tried them, you know, dampen brush with some fix plus no go. It does not translate at all from brush to skin. It's like there's a glimmer, but nothing 
you should be getting way more payoff than what I actually got. So I was kind of disappointed about that, but the matte shades are awesome. They're very buttery. They blend out so nicely. I'm very, very happy with them. I wore them to work today. They were great. They didn't disappear. They didn't move around. I did notice when I was putting them on, they do have like a lot of kickback and some fallout, but if I'm doing eyeshadow, generally I'm doing my eyes first because I'm kind of expecting it to happen. And if I can, you know, do things in a little bit of different steps to avoid me getting really angry and having to take off my foundation and concealer just to do it again, I'm going to do it. So definitely recommend this. It was worth it. I really liked it. This is only $7 and these pan sizes are like decently big. I'm going to open up that Rimmel one just so we can, uh, compare them. I'm going to have to put this down. I need two hands for this. Also, the Rimmel one came with this creepy one of these guys that, you know, brush on one side, stupid thing on the other side that I used for my nail powder. So I don't know why I put it back in there. But just to compare the pan sizes here, like this is a lot of bang for your buck. Even if, you know, the shimmery foiled shades are kind of crappy you're still getting a lot of shadow for $7 and I'm totally into that. There's a mustard color. It's the second one right here. This is freaking awesome and I love it and I've worn it quite a few times. I don't know if that's even, it's really pretty. And that's nice. I think that the actual shadows in the palette are very cohesive because you could use that mustard shade pretty much with every shade in this palette and it's going to look nice. There's so many options of good looks in this palette. I'm very, very happy with this purchase. Even if there's two shadows I'm kind of meh about, there's still like how many other ones that I'm totally stoked for. I'm also super stoked, you know, for this one. There's a lot of potential here as well. I did get another palette that I'm going to make a separate video on just because it's going to need an extensive video because there is a lot going on and it's pretty cool. So what palettes are you guys into right now? Do you feel like everything's kind of just stuck in like the warm eyeshadows right now? Because I can't find anything. Just walking through like the CVS, I was looking for like a quad or something that had like greens and purples and blues and it was either green, purple or blue, but not the ones I was looking for. Like really muted shades and I just, I want things to be more fun again and I don't really have the funds to get like really pricey palettes yet that may have those things. There was the NYX Brights palette that I really wanted and of course it was sold out so I just got to be patient and that's hard. But what are you guys into right now? What palettes do you really recommend? I'd love some suggestions because I'm always down to try something new. Um, have you tried any of the LA Girl highlighters here? What did you think? What other colors have you tried? Let me know. I'm always up for suggestions for that as well. If you have a good color for very pale skin, I'm into it. So if you did like the video please give me a like. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. I would love to have you hit the bell for notifications of all of my uploads. Again, leave me a comment with your thoughts. I love chatting with you in the comments. If you want to follow me on Facebook, please do so at Reanimator Reviews. And you can also find me on Twitter at Reanimator. And thanks for joining me and have fun playing with your palettes because that's what I do at night when I can't sleep and I'm winding down because it's very relaxing. So have a good night, guys.